All of us are forgetful sometimes. We may forget where we put our car keys, where we parked our car, why we walked into a room, or what we wanted to pick up from the grocery store. Forgetfulness can also be worse when we're under immense amounts of stress or if we're not getting enough sleep. These moments of forgetfulness are a part of our everyday lives. However, some people experience forgetfulness that goes beyond what is typical. How do we determine where that line dividing normal memory lapses from abnormal memory lapses is drawn? This video will discuss recommendations the Alzheimer's Association gives to help make that determination. One way to determine if memory changes are abnormal is to ask if the changes the person is experiencing is interfering with their ability to complete daily living tasks. Occasionally forgetting to turn a light off when leaving the house is generally not disruptive. However, forgetting to turn off the stove or getting lost in a familiar location can be dangerous and it impacts the ability for that person to live their life. Making a bad decision or mistake once in a while, like missing a monthly payment or being late for a doctor's appointment, occasionally happens to us all. However, individuals living with dementia may experience more drastic changes in judgment or decision making. For example, they may use poor judgment when dealing with money, making large purchases that are outside of their monthly budget. They may also begin to pay less attention to keeping themselves clean. People who develop solid routines may be thrown off balance or become irritated if something happens to disrupt that routine. Individuals living with dementia may experience mood and personality changes if their routine is disrupted. They can become confused, suspicious, depressed, fearful, or anxious. It is common for people to occasionally forget what day of the week it is. I generally teach classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and sometimes I get the days confused when I'm talking with my classes. However, people living with Alzheimer's can lose track of dates, seasons, and the passage of time entirely. They may have trouble understanding something if it is not happening immediately. Your average person may sometimes have trouble finding the right word or remembering someone's name. People living with Alzheimer's may struggle with naming a familiar object, such as a phone or refrigerator. They may also use the wrong name, for example, calling a watch a hand clock. People in more moderate to advanced stages of dementia may also have trouble following or joining a conversation. They may stop in the middle of the conversation and have no idea how to continue, or they may repeat themselves. It is normal to misplace things from time to time. A person with a healthy memory will be able to retrace their steps and find their missing item. A person living with Alzheimer's disease may put things in unusual places, or they may lose things and be unable to go back over their steps to find them again. If you are concerned a loved one may be experiencing memory loss, encourage them to speak with their doctor. Their doctor can provide them with information, conduct a brief memory screening, and refer them for further testing if needed. The Alzheimer's Association provides care and support to people living with Alzheimer's disease through online message boards, in-person support groups, a free 24-7 helpline, advocating on behalf of individuals with Alzheimer's and by supporting research for treatment, prevention, and a cure. Please see their website for local and national resources. When I was a graduate student, I had the privilege of learning from Dr. Harvey Stearns. One of his favorite things to do when one of his students had a memory lapse was to loudly declare memory failure by young person. He wanted to highlight the fact that memory failures take place at all stages of life and not just in older adulthood. I think you will find if you look for memory lapses, you will find that everyone has them. And hopefully this video gave you more information on how to distinguish the difference between normal memory lapses and memory lapses that should cause us concern.